Let's find the derivative of tan x by cotangent of x. Well, we can use the product rule. We'll use trig identities first to simplify the function. So tan x is sin x on cos x, and the cotangent of x is the cosine of x on sine x. And therefore, this gives 1, and a derivative of a constant is 0. So you've got to picture this as 1 by x to the 0. And using the power rule, the derivative of this evaluates to 0. Let's evaluate the derivative of this product of two functions. Now we could rewrite this as e to the x on sine x and use the quotient rule. Or simply remember the derivative of cosec x and use the product rule. So we keep e to the x constant. And a derivative of cosec x is minus cosec x by the cotangent of x, as we've seen previously. And then we take the derivative of u, which is e to the x, and keep the second function constant. And now we can factor out e to the x by cosec x. And for the second term we have 1, and the first term is minus cotangent of x. Let's differentiate the product of two functions. So to do that, we'll apply the product rule. So keeping the first function in the brackets constant, and differentiating the second function, we get minus cos x squared x. And now we can differentiate the first function. So 3x to the minus 2 is minus 6x to the minus 3, or minus 6 on x cubed. And then we minus 10, and the 1 drops out, and we keep the second function constant. Let's differentiate the product of two functions. So we can either use trig identities and apply the quotient rule, or simply apply the product rule while remembering the derivatives of these functions, which we've evaluated previously. So by the product rule, we keep tan x constant and differentiate sec x. So that evaluates as sec x tan x. And then we differentiate tan x, which evaluates as sec squared x. And keep the second function constant. So this becomes sec x cubed. Let's evaluate the derivative of the product of three functions. Now we can use either trig identities and the quotient rule because cosec x is 1 on sine x, or we can apply the product rule. So let's just do the quotient rule in this problem. So we have low d high. So we use the product rule to evaluate the derivative of the function in the numerator. So keeping e to the x constant, and differentiating the natural log of x, and then differentiating e to the x, and keeping the natural log of x constant. And we subtract hi, which is the upper function kept constant, and multiply this by d low, which is cosine x. And that's divided by the lower function squared. And I'll just leave it for you to simplify this further. By, for example, factoring out e to the x.